Welcome back, our dear viewers, and continuing our talks about the preparation that Egypt is taking uh, ahead of hosting the uh, COP27 summit in the Red Sea Resort of Sharm Sheikh in uh, the coming uh, months of uh, November. And uh, to shed more light on that, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Dr. Ged El Qadi, Professor of National Geographical and Space Research uh, Center. Uh, hello, Dr. Ged, and uh, thank you very much for being our guest for today. Well, good morning to you and all uh, your uh, fellow and uh, audience. Uh, Dr. al uh, uh, what are the most important uh, uh, preparations here that uh, are going to take place ahead of uh, the uh, COP27 summit, which will be taking place in uh, the Red Sea Resort of Sharm el-Sheikh? And what the most important uh, uh, points that were tackled by Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri uh, in his participation at the Davos uh, Forum in Switzerland? Uh, the, the effects of uh, the climatic changes and uh, carbon emission worldwide, it, it is caused by uh, industrial revolutions by many uh, developed countries. Egypt is one of those countries who are suffering from these changes. Mm. And of course, as mentioned uh, at the, the COP26 uh, at Ireland, uh, that one of the cities uh, suffering from sea level rise, and this effect is mm. one of them is Alexandria. So here in Egypt, we are working uh, together with research centers, the Fereste, and mm. other uh, uh, society, yes. even societies uh, are working to enhance uh, the, the, the community awareness about this global uh, changes phenomena, its effects. Uh, here uh, uh, on our site in Ariange, mm. the National Research Center, uh, National Research Institute of Astronomy yes. and Geophysics, we're working in, in different strategies. The first one, observation uh, of the effect of this climatic change, yeah. uh, either sea level rise, which we observe and measure uh, using tight gauge stations, uh, uh, substance of Nile Delta that's also uh, uh, integrated with the sea level rise and both together may cause some uh, uh, effect to uh, mm. deltaic and shoreline cities. Yeah. And the most important that we are working with uh, uh, mitigation and adaptation. You know, Egypt uh, uh, during the last uh, few years working uh, 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 with a very high speed to depend on renewable energy. We have mm. uh, in Ban, uh, Jerusalem and Boris Station one of the largest uh, renewable energy stations in the Middle East. Uh, even uh, his expensive president, uh, CC, announced that we shall depend on the green hydrogen. All of these a kind of uh, adaptation and mitigation to reduce the effect of the climatic change. Yes. I believe uh, hosting COP26 in uh, 27 uh, in Egypt uh, next November will shed uh, 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 the light on these uh, uh, issues and how far Egypt specifically and North Africa uh, be affected uh, with this uh, uh, phenomenon. Indeed. Uh, Dr. al uh, how, in your opinion, can the COP27 climate conference help in raising the people's awareness uh, regarding the importance of the environmental issues? Uh, well, uh, as I mentioned, uh, there is a societal movement now, uh, awareness with, uh, with the phenomena and its impact, which is good for us as a country, as a people, as a community, to learn how to depend mm. on renewable uh, energy sources, yeah. how to learn by ourselves to, to change, to help the changing uh, the environment yes. to uh, a better way. You know, uh, some of people start to, to have this adaptation, environmental adaptation to their life, mm. even for food, they use organic uh, materials. Yeah. All of this will help to enhance mm. the level of environment, uh, atmosphere, living style of the people in Egypt, yeah. which will in turn on the economic uh, indicators, of course. Yes. Sir, what are here the topics uh, most uh, scheduled to be topping the agenda of the upcoming uh, conference, the COP27? Uh, which will be uh, taking place next November? Um, I believe uh, one of the main issues uh, should be uh, addressed uh, largely hmm. depending on the renewable energy resources. That means 
to reduce the, the, the carbon emission, uh, especially we know that uh, the, the industry uh, uh, revolution four and five uh, being uh, largely implemented in the Middle mm. East and MENA region. That's why it, 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 it is a, a good timing to have this uh, COP uh, meeting in, in Egypt and Middle East. Yes. Sir, how can Egypt benefit from the uh, European Commission in supporting the climate conference? Well, we should work globally because this is a global phenomenon. The industrial revolution in Europe and, and emission in Europe, mm. of course, that will not affect Europe only, but uh, mm -hmm. there is a yes. ice melting uh, in, in, the, in the bowl that affects the Mediterranean region, you know. So, again, it is not uh, uh, local mm. issue, it is a uh, global one. Mm. So, uh, European Union, uh, United States, yeah. and all uh, industrial uh, countries should involve mm. and should exert uh, a lot of uh, practice, financially, research, uh, to, to, to help adapting this uh, phenomenon. Yeah. Sir, what are the priorities of the climate conference from your point of view? Uh, pardon, I didn't get it. The priorities of the climate conference, from your point of view. Yeah, I have no comment on this. Sorry. Yes, the priorities that uh, would be discussed, the priorities of the topics that would be discussed during the conference. Yeah, I'm sure the the, the, the organizers, Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Environment, they have uh, some specific items for the agenda that should should help. Uh, yeah. Egyptian government to enhance uh, and adopt our uh, 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 regulations, um, uh, living mm. styles, industrial, like uh, depending on, uh, on on renewable energy, mm. uh, using hybrid cars, you know, and, and, and leave me that also yeah. that means not to leave uh, fuel uh, sources uh, or fossil sources of, of uh, yes. energy like uh, hydrocarbon, oil and gas, Indeed. but there should be another solution to, to still benefit from these resources as well. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Gad Al-Adi, Professor of, uh, at the National uh, Geophysical and Space Research Center, uh, thank you very much for being our guest for today and for your uh, precious input. Our dear uh, viewers, with that, we come to the end of this edition of our breakfast today uh, for uh, today uh, and uh, you were in the company of uh, myself uh, Mahisti Rabia and my dear colleague Mohammed Abdelrahim we are both uh, signing off until tomorrow with another quiz goodbye and wishing all our dear viewers a lovely day